you didn't realize you're walking into a room full of degenerates. What is the thing that's parked like out front of my house? It's like an RV slash studio. Yeah. Can't confirm or deny any kind of laboratory or chemicals <laughs> going on. <tonight. laughs> the bar has been raised more and it'll continue to be raised more. She just looked at me and she's like, you're crazy. Like, I don't know what to do with you. What if? Because you never know it. I mean, this game is crazy. If you would have freaking hit me, I would have had 27 and set the record, man. Have you caught some negative attention lately? Is that a thing? And it sucks because the pinnacle in any sport is winning a championship. So now, dude, I couldn't even wear that ring. I'm gonna be honest. You guys give up on the meal money? You give up on team chemistry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Drinking money. <laughs> right on the tailbone, just perfect circle in between the cheeks right at the top. <laughs> Get the content out there. I don't care how it happens. Just let people post. You don't know what their actual motives are, if it's good, if it's bad. A baseball player wants to be a rock star, but a rock star wants to be a baseball player. They brought in straw all over the field and sawdust, and they set fire to it. It's like apocalypse now. Concession is a solution. Somebody's got to make it, though. I'm not here just to say hey and, and go away. I'm here to do some damage. The biggest misconception I had is that I thought players like wanted to get better. They don't. Trevor just got kicked out of the Texas Baseball Ranch, and I was just like, I'm gonna send you fucking back there. Fuck you. You can do whatever you want. Went to the hospital in the Dominican Republic. Oh, that's so like three good. days in, I'm like, I'm Sick. gonna die here. So I sat down with Freeman and said, hey, you know, if there's an opportunity in the off season to trade me, I'd like to be traded. I went up there and I legitimately got one comfort on the ground, wrapped myself in another comfort, and slept at the foot of a guy's bed. Like a dog. I've been wondering, have, they, have you thought, like, they're calling it the coronavirus, and I just thought, do you think, like, corona has, like, beer has to, they have to hate do that. Do they right? hate it or do they love it? Well, so now you everyone's like, you think. well, yeah, there is, there's no such thing as bad publicity. That's what my mom always said, but I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of living, <laughs> I, living, I like, that. living I, that. Yeah, that's like my. We climb over the fence. Our ace reliever, who was a real prospect, cuts his hand, he's out for the season. And oh. fuck that. We are in a world now where like, you said excuse my language, but we're allowed to talk this way. We're allowed to express ourselves. We're allowed to show people like who we really are. I like, I like my Tahoe, bro. Like, you bro, know what I'm saying? Coming, you're coming at me for my Silverado? I had to because I see him in McLaren, bro. So I'm like, damn, bro, what you driving this for? You good? You need a couple of dollars? Trevor, I got you, bro. At that point, I thought, if I make a movie, it's not going to have a home run in the bottom of the ninth. And then I found this guy, Kevin Costner, who was actually a good ball player. Crash Davis loves something more than it loves him back. And everybody loves something, a job, a woman, a man, something more than it loves him back. And that's, I think, why the movie's hung around. Eric Gagne, the best at bat in the history of baseball. You know which one? Barry Bonds. And here's Barry Bonds, who's 0 for 2 with a walk. He goes, I get no change up. I'm like, no change up? I'm like, can I throw it off? So he goes, yeah, uh, one off speed. I'm like, oh, it's a curveball. It's a 69 mile an hour curveball. And it's just stuck, just yeah. bah, and but it's Bonds in his prime. The umpire's like, nope, ball, <laughs> right? He just missed. I get a text. And then Jeter, I'm like, yo, what's up, yo, what's up? He said, we going to this place or whatever, come on out. And I went, it was me, I was standing there, and I look up, then it was MJ, Jeter, and Tiger. I'm like, why am I even here? <laughs> <laughs> Beginning of the season, one of our players, Derek Dietrich, he hits a home run uh, against Pittsburgh and just like into hits the river. It into the, I mean, crushed it. Like 550 feet, like right. just this bomb. And Dietrich admiring that one. And I hit it and finished. I just like stopped and I looked and I was like, that makes it so much worse. Most guys would have been mad at it. Then you looked at it. And you then know, you kept looking at it. And I kept looking at it. And then you still looked at it some more. Like, Amir like, Garrett. Like, yeah. That was some another level type of thing. Like, I've never seen somebody go off the mound. And he's like, all right, can you take the ball? Take the ball, and I'm going to go fight these guys. And now Garrett's on his way to the dugout. And here we go. So I gave him the ball to my coach. And then, you know, I ran over there. The third base coach was like, Amir, no. I was like, stay out. Watch out. Just got to it, throwing haymakers, everybody was in there. <laughs> oh! Garrett goes in there punching. This is not a good scene at all. I woke it up and didn't even know what city I was in. Walking to the I woke it up. <laughs> <laughs> Where the f What's up? As I've gotten older, that kind of persona early in my career definitely contributed to people having this 
what I would consider a misperception of who I am as a person. As long as I'm okay with myself, then I'm, I'm gonna stop listening to all these other people. I met you and I was like, <laughs> This dude's wearing a blue wig and right. spray train. I'm right. like, this, maybe there's something to this guy. If I'm a starter and I look out to the pen and I see someone yes. out, I'm like, what the fuck? The teams try to do like, hey, don't, don't be the guy in the clubhouse that creates a story. Don't be the guy to talk about it. Which I think is such bullshit. It is bullshit. I hate it. How can they be that out of touch with their own players? I had said for many years, like, I, I know I can do this. And someone one day asked me how. I was like, I just, I just know, like I know how my body recovers. And I'm like, wait, that's not a good enough answer. Yeah. You know, and so I was like, what am I gonna look at and figure out, can I do this? I left you for one year and you throw the ball <laughs> over the center field wall. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I know one thing, this skipper is not happy with that. And I just snapped. I just like, like launched it. I don't remember anything that he said except that he was like this close to my face. Like I couldn't see his whole face. That's how close he was, just screaming. He just has a big set of balls and just gave absolutely no fucks. <laughs> he just said, here we go. <laughs> Nothing's changed. <laughs>